Hello, fourth graders, and welcome back. I am Mrs. Lamondo here to talk to you all about mythology. So let's get started. Today, we're talking about someone that I bet you've heard of, and it is Hercules. In our text, we're going to call him Heracles because that was another name that he went by. So let's check out our text. The goddess Hera despised Heracles from the moment he was born, so she was determined to make trouble for him. One day while baby Heracles was asleep, Hera placed two huge snakes in his crib. She hoped they would finally rid her of this baby she hated so much. But just as the snakes were slithering around his neck to strangle him, he tied the snakes in knots and braided them together. Then he tossed them out of his crib. Everyone was amazed by the strength Heracles possessed. Everyone that is, except for Hera. She was furious that a mere baby had defeated her. Hera was determined to get even with Heracles. Heracles grew up to be a strong young man. He married and had many children. Heracles was loved by everyone and was honored time and time again for his heroic deeds. This outraged Hera. She was bound and determined to make Heracles suffer once and for all. Heracles prayed to the god Apollo and asked for help. The god's oracle told Heracles he would have to serve King Eurystheus for 12 years. The king hated Heracles and gave him 12 deadly and impossible tasks to complete. The first task that Heracles had to compete, complete rather, was to kill a fierce lion. This lion had wreaked havoc on the kingdom by eating men, women, and children. Heracles entered the lion's cave with no weapon, just his bare hands. He took the lion and killed it. Then he skinned the lion and made a cloak from the hide. The second task was to kill the hydra. The hydra was a huge serpent that had many heads. When it was born, it had nine heads. But every time one of its heads was cut off, two new ones grew in its place. At this point, the Hydra had 50 heads that were gnashing their teeth in anger. Heracles began cutting off the heads, but soon realized this was a losing battle because two heads kept replacing the one he cut off. Heracles set fire to his club and re-entered the fight. He began cutting off the heads again, but quickly burned the stump where the head had been slashed so it could not grow back. He was finally able to defeat the Hydra. Nothing was left of it but a nubby tree stump. The third task was to capture a deer with golden antlers. The deer was the fastest in all the land. After a year of hunting the golden stag, Heracles finally captured it in a net while it slept. Capturing a wild boar was the fourth task. The boar roamed the snow-covered mountains and had tusks that were so sharp they could pierce through armor. Heracles hunted the boar, trapped it, and wrapped it in chains. The fifth task was an unpleasant one. Heracles was ordered to clean King Aegean's stables. They had not been cleaned in years, so there were mounds of manure everywhere. Heracles built a dam so that a nearby river would change directions. The water flowed through the stables and cleansed them. King Eurystheus was ready with more commands when Heracles returned. Heracles was ready to destroy a flock of man-eating birds from the lake tame the mad bull of Crete, and capture the famous wild horses that ran like all the wind, all of which Heracles completed. King Eurystheus decided to use Heracles as a way to get rich. For his ninth task, he sent Heracles to fetch the jeweled belt worn by the queen of the Amazons. The Amazons were large, fierce women that were much stronger than most men. Heracles found this particular task easy. He simply asked the queen for the belt. She felt sorry for Heracles and handed it over to him. And so it continued. When one task was complete, King Eurystheus assigned another one. Heracles found himself stealing a monster's cattle. He simply shot the monster with a bow and snatched the cattle. Then Heracles had to travel to the dreaded underworld and steal Cerebus, the three-headed dog that belonged to Hades. The dog, the dog guarded the gates of the underworld. Once Heracles returned to King Eurystheus with the evil dog, the king was scared of it and made Heracles return Cerebus to the underworld. The last task was to collect golden apples from the tree of Hesperides. These magical apples grew on a tree in the garden that was at the end of the world. The tree was guarded by a dragon that never slept. Heracles knew that the dragon was more than he could handle. 
However, Heracles remembered that Atlas was a friend of the dragon and would have no problem getting the apples. So Heracles found Atlas, who had the weight of the sky on his shoulders at the edge of the earth. Atlas offered to pick up the apples if Heracles would hold the sky while he went to get them. After 12 years and completing the 12 labors, Heracles was forgiven. Heracles was immortal and eventually died, but the gods did not forget him. Wow. So what is the theme of this story? What's the lesson that the author wants us to know after reading this? Perhaps you might say that never give up. Keep trying, even when something seems really hard. And what do you think the mythical illusion, a Herculean task means? If you were given a Herculean task, do you think that would be something easy to get done or something really hard? If you guessed really hard, you're right. Next time we are together, we will check out the media version of Hercules. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.